the shuttlecock olive emerger. This one's tied on a 12 for the camera, but normally I tie on 14s, 16s, sometimes 18s. Start at the eye in the usual way and take your thread down the hook shank. Nice close touching turns always. Notice I'm supporting the hook as I do so to keep the stress away from the point where it's fixed to the vise. Remove the waist and just take the thread all the way to level with the barb. Now take half a dozen fibres of summer duck flank, tie them in for the tail or rather the shuck, the speckly fibres suggest the shuck of the fly beginning to come off the back. Now we take some very fine gold wire, catch that in under the shank, make sure that it reaches as far as the thorax area before you finish tying in. Catch that in. Four fibres of pheasant tail. This one's dyed olive, bleached and dyed olive in fact and catch those in and now bind all of them forward to the thorax area again supporting the hook as you do it. Couple more turns there we go. Now remove the butt ends just caught the wire there as well, so make sure I straighten that out. There we go. Now wind the pheasant tail. And that I wind towards me. So coming over the top from the far side. I always call this winding it backwards. And we take that through to the thread. That's not tied in yet until we make the second left hand drop turn. There we go, that's in now. A couple more turns there just to tighten everything up. And we'll remove the waist. Notice I push the thread out of the way. Now the rib goes the other way over the, over the top and away, which I call the normal way. Keep the turns even. suggests the segmentation in the body and also reinforces it. Again a left hand drop turn there and another one. Set it in place. Now we can put a few more turns in there. Make sure that it's well tied in. Now we'll just break it off. Just give it a couple of twists and it breaks. Don't cut it with your scissors if you can help. Remove one little fibre that's stuck there from the pheasant tail. CDC feathers, there are five there stacked one on top of the other. Set them on top roughly as long as the tail of the fly or fractionally shorter. Make sure they're well bound in working forwards. If we lift that bunch of fibres now and get the scissors in and cut horizontally by lifting we actually put a taper into the cut as we make it. Uh, bind down the rest of those butts. Be careful you don't work the hook too hard, there we are, support it. Right, now we want some dubbing. This is what they call squirrel dub. And we'll just work a little mist of dubbing out from the packet. And you notice the sparkle there, there's a bit of SLF in that, mixed in with the squirrel fur. I'm just going to twist that anti-clockwise onto the thread. Just roll it round the thread. And then slide it up into position. A couple more twists, make sure it's really on there. It's a tight spindle. You don't want too much, you can build it up, it's better built up. Now we'll wind it and we're going to push that back onto the 
CDC really right back to the body of the fly. And there, if we look underneath, there's no gaps, there's no thread showing, and one more there, and then we'll build up a little ball of dubbing for the thorax. There we go. And to the eye and back again, just to tidy things up. A couple of fibres there which might get in the way, so we'll trim them off. There we go. Now pull all the CDC forward over the top as a thorax cover or wing case and we'll catch them in. There's one left hand drop turn and another one and each one pull tight as tight as you can and another one. There we go and that's tight now that's held. Pull all the tips back and tie in in front to wedge them slightly. Make the head and a whip finish. Here we go, just hold the fibres out of the way. Four turns, transfer onto the needle and slide in. There we go. That basically is the fly finished. We can slice off, just push, don't cut. And there's there's the look of the fly. We'll just give a little bit of head cement varnish on onto the front there so you need to hold the wing out of the way to do it be careful don't don't be heavy handed with this otherwise you'll soak the CDC and you don't want to do that there we go needle into the eye just to make sure there's no cement hanging about so that we don't have problems threading it when the excitement's on and there we go. Now, just set this up in the vise a little bit for you to have a look at the angle it will fish at. No, a little bit more. It wants a bit more than that. That's the sort of angle we're looking for by having the CDC over the thorax. And if we just pick at that squirrel fur sort of thorax there just get a few leggy bits sticking out just to give a little bit of disturbance in the surface film and maybe a little bit of sparkle as well. You can vary the shade of the pheasant tail and the dubbing and substitute things like quill for the body instead to get a variation in the pattern. Mm -hmm.